Oh, hello. Welcome to Storytime with Basket. Oh, sorry. With Bethany, not Basket. Right, this story is called Barbar's Guide to Paris. Ooh, look. Very fancy. I can't wait to read it. Wow, so many elephants holding on to each other's tails. And I wonder what this is, don't you? Now, do you know, it looks very familiar to me because growing up, there was always a picture hanging on the wall in the house that I lived in. And it was a picture of a statue that looked just like that. Mm. Wow. Baba's youngest daughter, Isabel, is going to Paris. Baba has been there often. It is one of his favourite cities. Before she leaves, he tells her how to enjoy it. First, he says, you must go to a cafe. Order anything. You can sit as long as you like. Read a book or just watch the world go by. The cafe is the theatre of Paris, where you are both actor and spectator. Spectator is the person that watches, just like the audience. Each cafe is different. Cafe de Flore and de Magot are right next door to each other. Celeste frequents the floor, while Cousin Arthur prefers de Magot. The cafes are full day and night. There is never a wrong time to stop for a coffee, a citron pressé or an ice cream. Oh yeah. If you stand at the bar, it costs less. Clink, clink. Have dinner at a brasserie. This is a lively restaurant where you can eat just about anything you want. Some of my favourites are La Coupole, Balzar, Le Vaudeville and Bofinga. Do you know what? That is just a foreign language to me. The seafood platters are amazing. Ooh, yum. Do you like seafood? Best of all, you can bring your dog. Oh, so sweet. Find your own favourite restaurant and go there often. Then the waiters will greet you as a friend. Despite its good reputation, the weather in Paris can be rainy, chilly and windy. Take your, take your down or leather jacket and a warm wool scarf. If you forget something, don't worry. There are many chic stores in Paris. And shopping there is fun. Apartment houses have coded number panels instead of doormen at the outer door. You must know a friend's code as well as her address. The elevator is likely to be small. <laughs> Paris has many thriving bookstores. You can also find used books, posters and prints at stalls along the Seine. Take the subway called the Metro. 
When the train starts, grab the pole and hold on tight. Go to museums, especially the Louvre, which you enter through a glass pyramid. Wow! You will see many strange and beautiful things inside. So now we can see this statue closer up. And do you know something? I think it's a statue of the most beautiful angel. But it looks like the statue was damaged so that the statue's head isn't there anymore. I mean, that's just my guess, but I don't really know what happened. See Monet's paintings of water lilies at the Orangerie Museum. Oh, look at those water lilies. Oh, that looks lovely. Take a bateau, mouche, and see Paris from the river. Admire the Eiffel Tower from every angle. Oh yeah, I'd love to take a boat. Exchange ideas with a friend in the Luxembourg Gardens. How relaxing. Live like a Parisian. Enjoy food and conversation and every scrap of good weather you get. Walk everywhere. Walk as much as you can. There will be a surprise on every block. A lion. An artist. Maybe children learning anatomy from statues. Don't you love that they make everything elephant themed? I mean, of course they do. You might see a street market in the morning, which will have disappeared by the afternoon. There will always be a park nearby to explore. Or to relax in. <sighs> At night, go to the theatre or opera. Next morning, lay on the keys of the Seine. Love Paris, as we all do. Dream about living in Paris, as we all have. See the great world and treasure every bit of it, darling child. But at the end of your journey, come back to your family in Celestville and let us welcome you home. Oh, how lovely. It is good to be back home again sometimes, isn't it? The end.